As a two minute here today, I'm going to show you guys how to add Sense 5 quick settings to any Android device. And also, you can get quick settings 4.2 as well if you wanted to in the quick settings of the notifications. So, let's begin this video. Alright guys, so right now I have the Galaxy Note 2. Hope you guys like the new format. I'm trying out uh, this new stand I got here. Um, and I got my Android guys here in the green background right here. And I hope you guys liked it. I don't know if you guys like it. Leave it in the comments. Anyway, I have I already have 4.2 already guys. So I have quick settings and installed already. You can see there I have quick settings. But this does work for all the Android device. Anywho, let's go into the apps. First app I want to show you guys is quick settings the newest version um, that you can't download this in the play store and it is free but you have to get it from the link down in the description so you can download it it's like an apk file anyway when you open it up this is what you're going to get you're going to get all of these different options in quick settings so you can enable and disable all the options that you give you it has reboot options you can turn off the screen you can turn off bluetooth turn it on toggle settings you have sound profiles as well, so you can enable and disable the sound and make it so you can have vibration mode. Each setting works as well. It's not like it doesn't work. You also have personal settings, so you can do you can work the brightness there. Uh, you can also go into like auto sync, um, sound effects. Very very nice. Uh, down here you have ADB and unknown sources apps. So check that on if you want to download APK files. So you might need that if you want to install this app. And up there you got the battery. Now every single one that you tap on, on the other icon, it brings it up in the settings with that exact toggle. So if I press on the Wi-Fi, it's gonna bring me up in the Wi-Fi network section. If I go back and I press the battery icon, it's gonna bring me up in the battery in the settings and it's gonna show me every single detail about the battery. And the cool thing about this is if you go right here and you enable the notification shortcut and you press that on, it's always gonna be using your notification. So if you scroll down, you can actually tap on the quick settings you can see there. Tap on that and it pops it right up anywhere in any single app. So if let's say you go on the Play Store and you go into the Play Store and you're going around looking through the apps and all that, you can go into your settings and you can press quick settings and it brings up this menu and you can toggle anything you want and you can press back and it brings you up back to that same app that you were at. Very, very nice and easy. All right, the next app I want to show you is how to get quick settings 4.2. Now, like I said before, this is what 4.2 quick settings look like. So if you want to enable that on your phone, maybe you don't have Jelly Bean 4.2.2, maybe you just have Froyo or maybe you have Gingerbread. Anyway, you can install this app to the Play Store. It's called Control Panel for Android and it's free. So here I go, if I open it up, it pops up with the settings in here. You can have different themes. I like to have the dark one because it's very, very nice looking. So it's categorized into three sections, sound, network, display, and others, and uh, about. So all those settings are included so you can quick toggle. Now let's say you're in the home screen and uh, you're going around your home screen, going around, go into your notification and you'll see that that app puts like a little notification in your bar and it has quick settings on it. So you just tap on it and it pops it up with this. Now let's say you want it to appear only there, simple. Very easy, there you go. You can actually see that it goes over my screen uh, just like that. It's just like a notification bar. I can pull it up, pull it down. If I go around, it uh, doesn't matter what app I'm in, if I'm in the Play Store as well, and I bring that up, it's still gonna pop up just like that. And you can toggle anything you want. Let's say I want brightness, screen timeout. It has screen timeout as well. A lot of things to include. Let's say uh, you just wanna edit the brightness. You can do that as well. Lower and higher the brightness all at once. And once you're done, you can just Scroll it back up and it pops it up with the app that you were just at. And it's very quick to use and it's not going to be wasting a lot of battery. Alright guys, hope you guys liked this video. I made it specifically for you guys. Um, by the way, you do not need root for any of these apps. These apps don't require root at all. Um, they're just for you to use any Android device, all Android devices. Hope you guys liked it. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Kapow!